Hello viewer, a warm welcome to Elimu TV where you watch and learn. I welcome you to our geography from two lesson. That is lesson six. Our subtopic will be the significance of folding. I am your teacher, Madam Abigail Rachel. So before I start our lesson today, I would like to preview the last lesson that we had. So in the last lesson, we looked at the features resulting from fold mountains. And one of the features resulting from fold mountains is a fold mountain. And in fold mountains, they include the Himalayas, the Addis of the South Africa. We also have the Rocky Mountains in North America. And we also have the Atlas in South Africa. We also have the Alps of, in Europe. So these are some of the fold mountains that you have. We also have another feature resulting from folding, that is the rugged terrain. So for our lesson today, we are going to look at the significance of fold mountains to human activity. So whenever there is an earth process that is taking place, it, is, it has a significance to human activities, either, either on a positive side or on a negative side. So what I am going to start with today is on the positive side. So in the first significance is that fold mountains are a source of attraction. And this is in terms of tourism, whereby you have the fold mountains attract tourists who bring in foreign currency to the economy of Kenya. An example of an attraction is the Atlas, the Alps, and the Himalayas. You can also name a few that you can remember. So on our image, we have a fold mountain that is here. And in this fold mountain, you see that they have rocks. And these rocks, people climb them. It is also a form of exercise. There's much, there's so, there is so much fun in climbing rocks. And, and in this rock climbing, we have a lot of people who come to climb mountains, who come just to view the mountain, take a lot of pictures. And these people, we, if they are coming from outside the country, they have to pay in some, uh, they have to pay in some currency to be taken around these mountains. And also, they also improve the economy of Kenya. The other significant is that it encourages relief rainfall. So whenever you have a mountain, there is relief rainfall that is going to take place. And we have the windward side of the mountain receive high rainfall which will result to forest growth and it will also encourage uh, agricultural activity. So whenever where we have a mountain, on the, on the windward side of the mountain, this is the side that is the most, this is the side that is most fertile because it receives a lot of rainfall. With the opposite side of the mountain is called the leeward side and we have this leeward side it, it is most of the time it is usually a dry land. So this other side is also good for pastoralists, people who want to keep large now a large number of herds of cattle. So this this is the second sig significant is that it brings rainfall and rainfall comes with ag improved agricultural activities and also forest growth. Another significant is that fold mountains are important water catchment areas. This is because of the high rainfall received in these areas. And we also see that the windward side acts as a source of river. And they provide water for domestic and industrial use. In our image, we have, we can see water, then we, we can also see rocks and trees on this image. So fold mountains, as they, as they attract water, as they attract rainfall through the trees, we see that they are also a source of water because this water will be, will be diverted for domestic use. This water can also be used for agriculture and it is very, it's very important that we maintain the natural, the forest system of our country because they attract rainfall on the earth's surface. 
The other significant is that it leads, it may lead to the formation of lakes. That is where we, are, where, where we have depression in between mountains. So in a low-lying area between mountains, a lake is a lake is most likely to be found. Because when the when the forest or the mountains attract rainfall, this water will accumulate somewhere in a depression and it will end up forming a lake. So on our image here, we have a picture whereby you can see that there's a depression. On the sides, we have trees that are growing on the sides, that is on, on the land surface where you have the dry land. And on the far right, on the far right, we have the, we have a mountain. So this, this shows clearly that it, there is a mountain here where, where we have a lake that has been formed in between these two mountains. side from the positive effects of folding, let's look at the negative effects of folding. So in the negative effect, our first effect is that fold mountains may cause poor sensibility to aircraft when it is foggy. We, we, we normally say that the higher you go, the cooler it becomes. So on top of mountains, it is most likely to be foggy. This is because the temperatures here are so cold and being on a being on the highest point of the mountain, here is where you have most of the clouds formation. So being a clouds formation zone, most mountains are so foggy and when aeroplanes pass in between the when aeroplanes pass or have their roots in between mountains of the journey of the aeroplane. So on our image you have a foggy area that is on a mountain zone whereby you cannot see 15, 15 meters away from, uh, you cannot see 15 meters. If you're standing on this mountain, you cannot see 15 meters ahead of you because the area is all foggy. And in case of aeroplanes passing around this place, it is most likely to cause an accident. The second negative effect is that it leads to the, to the cons, it, it will lead to construction of roads becoming expensive. This is because when roads are constructed along very high cliffs, they are going to be expensive because of the diverting or of the diversion, which, which makes them divert in order to avoid the cliffs. So making the, constructing the roads on a, on, on, on a cliff is very expensive. When we look at our image here, we have this image that has con that has bends, and also in the same image you have rocks. So it was it was expensive for this person for the contractors to construct a road on this image because they have to get they have to get rid of the of the corners and the bends and also remove these rocks. And at some point, they have to increase the length of this road to areas that was not very necessary because they could not have made it, they could not, they could not have made it possible to clear some of the rocks. So construction of roads becomes very expensive in such areas. Another negative effect is that Fold mountains and other features <coughs> resulting from folding are barriers to transport and communication lines. At the time, we do not have communication lines being put on rugged land. When we look at our image here, we see that this image is an image of a topographical area that is slopy. It also has steep slopes on it some parts of which are gentle. So when we, see, when we say that we are going to construct a road on such kind of area, you cannot construct a road on a steep slope. And at the same time, when it comes to communication, you cannot put, putting of boosters in such areas becomes difficult. As a result, these areas have poor communication networks. So this is one of the effects of folding is that the land, when the land becomes rugged, 
it becomes very difficult to put to put up roads as well as communication lines. Another effect is that mountain climates are very cold and foggy and the leeward sides are dry, which may hinder settlement and farming activities in such areas. So when these areas have become very cold and foggy, it, does, it is not suitable for any kind of habitation as well as crop growing. Some, some crops do not do well in, in cold areas. As a result, people will not go and live in such areas. So this land is just left for the government uh, or just it becomes a forest land. So we have come to the end of our lesson today and an assignment that I'm going to leave for you to do. The first question list the significance of folding to human activities. So list them in general, the positive and the negative. The second assignment, what are the negative impact of features resulting from folding? So number one is list down the significance of folding to human activities. Second is what are the negative impacts of features resulting from folding?